Friday, March 15th, monthly OPEX. We will be covering SPY in this video. Man, Wall Street had like pickle jar tightness, just like the lid on this thing completely. I mean, we opened just above 510 and then we closed just under 510. So intraday, you did get a little bit of movement, but did we go very far from the blue? I mean, you didn't even go up two strikes and you barely went down two, one and a half. That is Wall Street just scamming everyone. Nothing happening. But if you follow tradeability on SPY, it has the X. We have some new designs coming out. We'll ship next week. All of this is going to look much prettier. But we're telling you, good day to touch grass and not trade. Will be difficult to return 100%. Bulls below and bears above the blue line. Okay, this is the most important part. Bulls below, negative PS, and bears above. Let's look at it from the perspective of we don't know anything that happens on this side of the screen. You open, go higher to 511. Not really interested in any kind of trades right now, right? Because if I want a bear, I want it to be way above up here, 512, 513. Or I want a bull, you know, I want it lower at the strike. And that's exactly what you get right because come here okay we we're chopping at 510 for a few minutes we break lower and then boom i mean that's a quick move to 509 and this is a great trade this is a perfect setup and you get 90 percent on this thing with no drawdown on the way okay right because you're here and this is never in drawdown the problem is the way they set this thing up today is that here, it looks like we're going to trend. When I say trend, that means we're going to go up ramp all day long. Okay? That's what it looks like. I mean, we get to this middle, break above the blue. I mean, this is, this is nice. This is what you want to see. This supports the idea or the possibility that we are going to have a trend day. And this is a big trade. You see a score of 529. That essentially means half a million dollars in bullish flow. Calls being bought, puts being sold. And it gets absolutely crushed, right? So while we had exactly what we wanted from an alert standpoint, what was missing? What was missing? Someone in the back. Oh, you? We were missing volume, okay? Volume right here under 100%. Typically, we do not see a big move when volume is low. And that's exactly what happens, right? We go up and it starts to come down. Now this is a great trade. Personally, do not like taking puts. This year, taking puts has been like terrible. Now, I guess PPI is hot, inflation's hot. Jerome Powell better do something or you're going to be a dummy knucklehead the rest of your life, stuck in jail with Hunter Biden, something like that. Maybe it's time to do a little bit like Master P and play the puts because this is awesome. I mean, this is 175%. And if you're looking at it, it comes right at the strike, no drawdown. Let's see what strategy said, 1058. Scroll on down to this bad boy. Low volume, do not trade if PS is negative. You should probably change that language to say trade if PS is positive. Small trade size and only enter if you can buy out of the money above the strike. So this comes in, strike 511, spots basically at the money. You're able to get into this small, you know, profit target's pretty low. And this runs to 175% two hours, no drawdown. Only 21.68% if you held until the end of the session. But that is a good trade. Not something that I look for. Don't love doing it. Do not love trading that one at all. Even though it works, right? So here we continue. You get a bear right here at the blue line. And, you know, this prints money as well. 100%. P.S. 
minus 0 0.09 neutral, right? You're at the blue line, it's neutral. Anyway, we keep kind of just going down. If you're in calls right here, right, and we don't just break above 510 and just fly, you need to just get out. Just get out because they just slow grinded everyone. And this is like the middle. When tradability is low, especially in the middle, you are not going to see anything good. And this is just, look at this. This is just slow, minute by minute, grind lower. A little bit of hope every time, but, but you get nothing. Okay? This is a trade we like. This is a bull right here, 1253. PS minus 4.66. Once again, max gain 93%. But that's taking it to like here. You get into this trade, you're buying the 509 call. And as soon as it starts to come down and this bear comes in, you're getting out. Why? Because we've been selling off all day. We've been selling off this entire session. Okay, we went up a little bit. Like, okay, just take your money and run. Just get out. Get out. It's low volume. We shouldn't expect to get 100%. Look, it even says, will be difficult to return 100%. And you didn't there, right? So that's interesting too, because what time does it come? 1300. That's like the magic hour. That's why the middle session ends at 1300. Because at 1300, something usually happens. Pump, dump, whatever. But like, look at it. 1300 is the exact bottom today. Check trading view, same thing. Move up from here, get some bears come in. It's like, you don't want this because you're low, right? You know, PS is negative, it's low volume. You're not really interested in it. We want bears above the blue and bulls below, right? And if you followed that strategy, I mean, I think you win on every single one. You even, I mean, this makes money, 42%. This makes money. Let's see, are there, I mean, this one doesn't. You lose on one bull below the blue, but every bear above, you make money. That's what you can do. On low volume, if you want to trade it. But it's like not super recommended because this is like hard. This is hard mode. We like easy. When we look at the end of the session, you know, these absolutely crush and then probably get killed. It's right above. Let's look at them. Caution, low volume. Do not trade if PS is negative. PS is slightly positive. And I mean, these are, these are bangers. Why? It's happening right at the Robin Hood close. Typically, Robinhood close. Everyone on Robinhood is buying calls anyway. I mean, 118%, 16 minutes. 118%, 16 minutes. That's amazing. So if you take the tradability notification, you don't check in until 1300. You're able to catch this, ride it up, probably to here. You know, go to runners. And then if you want, you can try this at the end. Small trade, you know, five contracts, something like that. What did these things even cost? $37 a piece. You know, you put 500 bucks in it, you double your money in 16 minutes. That's it. I think the most important thing, when we're looking at SPY today anyway, we've got a couple other videos coming out covering the other tickers for today, is that we cannot expect that much, and we have to look for, like, our preferred low-volume setups. And that just means bulls below and bears above. And if you did that today, you made money on every single one except for this bull right here. This made money. This made money. Even this made money if you held it long enough. Okay, so you lose this one too. We wouldn't take that because it's ramping. But generally, you win more than you lose, but... Look, trade size, YOLO money, fun money. You're not going to crush it on SPY, on low volume. You're just not going to if there's not tradeability. This is difficult. At the same time, 
two good setups. This one here and this bull here. 93%, 90%. That's it. You know, I think those are the two. And then you, you go fund money here if you want, if you're still paying attention. But typically after 1400, like nothing happens on a Friday. Say this in all the videos. Fridays, everyone checks out, goes sees their mistress, whatever. But like, if you win this one, you win this one, call it a day. That's it. All right, the bosses at Rigged say that uh, I have to remind you all, please subscribe to the channel, click like. If you enjoyed this, comment, say something nice, call me handsome. We recap every single trading day every single ticker that we cover it's a lot of content but if you want to learn how to trade options using the rigged ai system there's nothing better and guess what when it works oh baby today was a difficult day shout out to the new guys making money we'll see you in the other videos coming up next